Greetings, race fans. It's been a minute. Has it not? I think the uh, last uh, race that I actually uh, recorded and put up on this channel was about two, maybe three weeks ago, when the Wild West Zones wrapped up their finale of their Series 2. Um, been kind of taking it a little bit easy with uh, racing. I've been racing, but I haven't been recording a lot. And one of the reasons for that is that some of the team racing I've been doing, um, they're longer races. And it seems to be that unless I just stream and broadcast it out, um, I wind up with performance issues because the file size gets so big on my local machine. And by the time I get about halfway through a two and a half hour race, starts to gum up the works. But it's been so long that I wanted to at least give you guys a little bit of something, a little insight into what we're doing. I actually teamed up with uh, three of my Wild West Zone uh, cohorts, and we are going to be competing in the official iRacing 12 Hours at Sebring, and this will start tomorrow. And so in preparation for that, we've been doing a whole bunch of fun stuff like, you know, Set, going through setups and practices and driving AI races, driving in official races, doing all sorts of really uh, cool stuff to prepare. And on uh, last evening, which was Thursday evening, um, we participated. No, no, no. Two nights ago. I apologize. We participated in what was um, essentially a... Uh, yeah, I'm right on that. It was essentially a practice session for the zone championship um, contingents race, the, the people that are trying to get into the zone um, championship series, zone challenge championship series, um, that have not already qualified. We've already qualified, uh, the, the four of us that are, are doing this, but we wanted to just sort of test out our stuff in traffic, so we joined a practice session. And so that's what this is, is the practice session where uh, myself, Jeff Williams, Rob Cottle, and Jeff Rosenthal all uh, checked out our setup that we're going to be using in the iRacing official 12 hours at Sebring, made sure we're all comfortable with it, and had a little bit of fun with uh, some other folks from the PCA Sim Racing group. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. I do apologize. I didn't actually capture any in-car. So the only commentary that you will hear will be coming from the automated uh, um, Jim, the crew chief, uh, as he picks up stuff from the replay and chats over the line and stuff that was over the official radio. Um, we had our team chat on Discord and I didn't record that. So it's gonna be just uh, car sounds and car pictures um, for a half hour race. So if, uh, if you're into that, more power to you. Enjoy. Um, if you're not, I'll forgive you. If you can, just go ahead and uh, click on the like or subscribe button if this is your bag, baby. If it's not, that's fine too. Thank you for your time and uh, enjoy the show. Thank you. Go, go, go. Fart. Gap to Huckle, ahead is increasing. It's now 1.3 seconds.
lap two. Buckle ahead is now 2.2 seconds. Behind is now 8.7 seconds. I think P2 has gone off in the hairpin. <laughs> 20 minutes remaining, you've got 20 minutes left. Incident in Cunningham, you think it might be Hockle? So Hockle in front is now 3.0. <laughs> So Hockle behind is now 2.9 seconds.
gap to Chen ahead is increasing. It's now 4.9. There's an incident in Cunningham. Looks like it's Hockel. Oh, no worries, man. Okay, Jet, 15 minutes left, that's 15 minutes. an incident in Cunningham. You think it might be Lopez? The gap behind is now 1.9 seconds. There's an incident in Collier. Looks like it's Lopez.
the guy behind you really knew in. The gap's now 1.1. Right, Chip, don't let this guy distract you. an incident in tower it looks like Nielsen <laughs> oh 
Soldier Nerve. Make them do the work. Okay, Chip, ignore that fucker in the mirror. Stick to your line. Nail those exits. <laughs> That's two minutes left, two minutes. We think P6 has gone off in tower.
gap to Nielsen ahead is increasing. It's now 12 seconds. Thanks, Freddie. Appreciate it. The gap behind is now 9.9. No Thanks for making that pit stop, Rob. At least I now show up on my relative screen. Behind is now 10 seconds.
the gap to Nielsen ahead is increasing. It's now 14 seconds. Incident in turn one. It looks like Nielsen, the gap behind, is now 9.2 seconds. I think P3 has pinned it in. Christensen. Yeah. Good to see everybody tonight. Have a good evening. Thanks for hosting, Chris. Yeah, thanks, Chris. Appreciate it. Good race. So as you can see, a nice little tune-up for the Sebring 12 hours, and uh, pretty proud of uh, our team. We all finished uh, the, the warm-up race. Not a lot of cars, of course, but it was enough to give us a little bit of a taste, a little bit of a tune-up. I was a little disappointed in a couple of mental mistakes that I made, but uh, really enjoyed uh, keeping uh, Chris Siborowski behind me for more laps than either of us probably imagined I could do, um, but eventually made a mental mistake and wound up off a little bit um, and had to slow up, and he got around me. Um, of course, much faster than I was. So once he got past me, he just took off. Um, Jeff Rosenthal drove a great race, um, got around me uh, again on another mental mistake, um, lost uh, and, and went off a little bit. And uh, <laughs> no sooner did he get around me and he made a mistake of his own. Um, that's what glee does, I think, is uh, finally getting around somebody you've been waiting to get around. And uh, then you get a little bit too exuberant and want to take off and... Uh, lose sight of what it is you're trying to do <laughs> and go off a little bit happens to the very best of us um so not a not a not a one among us uh, can can say that we haven't had that happen uh, on one or more occasions usually more um but overall um a lot of fun and a good little tune up that i think we will carry on into uh, some some other traffic experience uh, that we're we're getting in some of the uh, IMSA 12 hour practices uh, headed into the, into the race will be up at uh, odark 30 tomorrow the session that we're going to join starts at 5 a.m pacific so we'll be uh, jumping on as a team doing uh, 30 minutes of warm-up followed by an eight minute qualifier and then the 12 hour race so uh should be fun i'll report back how we do um, in a video that will sum up some of the activity. I'm not going to try to record the entire thing, as I mentioned before, for performance reasons, but uh, but I will give you a, a little bit of a taste of uh, the experience overall, good, bad, or ugly. Um, we, uh, we have a plan, so I think that we're going to uh, execute on that plan and uh, do as well as we possibly can and have a hoot. Um, doing it. Some some great guys, and we already have had a lot of fun preparing for this race, so we're really looking forward to seeing how we fare in the Sebring 12 hours on the iRacing platform. Thank you for joining, and uh, as always, uh, if you like what you see and you're not a subscriber, feel free to subscribe, because occasionally I put out something that might even be interesting and funny. And if you did like it, click on the like button just uh, so it can uh, show up. Use the YouTube heuristics to share it with other people that might have like-minded interests. Appreciate you, and thank you very much. Bye-bye. Spaß machen Rennsport.